I'm Noelle Friel and this is your NBC 26 News Update. Here in Wisconsin, Democrats are renewing calls for the legislature to take up a pair of gun safety bills. The bills were rejected by the Republican-controlled legislature without any debate two years ago. The bills would put a universal background check in place for gun sales and would implement a red flag law that would allow judges to take guns away from people determined to be a threat. Governor Evers called a special session in 2019 to pass those bills but was ignored. We wanted to break down gun related deaths here in Wisconsin. According to the CDC, on average, Wisconsin sees 641 gun related deaths each year. 68% of those deaths are related to suicide. 28% are homicides with a gun. 2% of deaths were linked to police. 1% was linked to unintentional firearm deaths. And the remaining 1% was listed as undetermined. This week, a Title IX harassment investigation and two bomb threats have thrown the small city of Kiel into the international spotlight. The families of three eighth grade boys claim their Kiel area school district students are under sexual harassment investigation for using incorrect pronouns to refer to another student. Virtual learning will begin today and continue tomorrow. Temperatures today are going to get up into the upper 60s and lower 70s. We will have a chance of some rain showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder for more so locations, Mantuac, Sheboygan, Fond du Lac counties. And then as we get into uh, tonight, <clears throat> we'll cool off into the upper 40s and lower 50s. We'll have a chance of a rain shower or so in the early overnight before we dry out. Winds will come in out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, starting off cloudy for the first part of the day, but then in the afternoon, the skies really start to clear out from west to east. We'll have highs getting into the upper 60s and low 70s away from the lake. Northeast winds at 5 to 15 will keep lakeside areas a little cooler.